Where do you buy fabric in Toronto? If you have started a new hobby or you're new to the city, you might not know all the fabric stores that Toronto has to offer. We have everything here from quilting fabrics to Japanese nanny iru to African wax prints, Indian and Chinese silks, fine European laces, wool suiting, and many more. It's gonna take three videos to get through all the stores and today we're visiting 12. And they're all accessible by bike, car, or transit. So stick with me and I'll show you how to find them. Hi, I'm Karen Brown of Just Get It Done Quilts. I give you tips, tricks, and strategies to help you make the quilt that you wanna make. And if you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. One of the questions I'm asked most is where do you buy fabric in Toronto? Because of our diverse communities, you can purchase fabric from all over the globe. And best of all, these stores are run by wonderful people, often families who love fabric and textiles just as much as you do. So come along with me as I show you the city. I've divided the city into three areas and today we're visiting the Southwest. And the first stop is in Parkdale. It's also home to one of my favorite stores where I've taken a ton of classes, the workroom. Hi, I'm Karen Valino from the workroom. We opened in 2007 in Parkdale. We cut and fold and tie up every bundle that you get from the workroom. We have a little bit of everything, so it's kind of a fun little shop to explore. There's lots of little nooks and crannies. We sell everything from fabric to patterns, a little bit of garment stuff. We sell vintage buttons, which are really fun to explore. All kinds of accessories, every little tool that you might need for a fun project. We have a pretty big Big range of classes. I would say pre-pandemic we had about 40 to 50 classes on our roster. Gradually adding our classes back but we do do everything from beginner sewing, clothing, accessories, quilting, natural dyeing, weaving, pretty much runs the gamut of anything crafty. And they have a long arm that you can take a class to learn how to use and then rent by the hour. Next, we are following the streetcar down Queen Street to the Garment District. And this amazing block right here is home to nine fabric stores. And it is a quick 10 minute walk from the Osgood subway station. Leo's Textiles is our first stop on the street. And here, it's all about the glam. If you have a glittering gala or wedding gown to make, this store should be on your list. The colors, the sparkles, the textures, it's all here. Well organized and easy to view. And be sure you ask the owner for help if you can't find it. My name is Gennady Daniel, and I am in this store 22 years. And I know many, many generations, many people coming. I know fabrics very well. And uh, I try to buy good stuff I have from Italy, Lord & Taylor, wool, wool, cashmere, Hugo Boss. I have uh, silk, Christian Dior, I have Armani. Uh, we have uh, very nice uh, Japanese linen, Swiss cotton. The store had so many beautiful fabrics. When I found an organic bamboo knit, Daniel showed me where a famous Canadian designer had used it in their collection. Chuxing Textiles, my name is Rono. How long has your store been open? Since 87. It's a family business from my mom. I've been running this since 95, mainly for weddings and special events. We have the Chinese silk, it's just solid, 85 colors. Chiffons, uh, satin, the velvet, the organza, they're all in silk, and the Chinese brocade is in silk. Crystal applicate, 
and crystal trims will be the main item for decorating the dress. I had a chance to compare a silk with a polyester, and you can really see how bright the poly is next to the soft luster of the silk. This was truly one of my favorite stores, as the whole store was so clean and well laid out. David and Ding Textiles. And how long has this store been open? This specific one for a couple months now. But everything here we have a clearance on. But everything here is on sale that we had from Overstock. Here we have a lot of upholsteries in the back. There's a room full of upholsteries, velvets, uh, vinyls, all that kind of stuff. Then brocades and uh, all across this wall, clothing fabric mainly, knits, chiffons, and just a blend of other stuff here. But our original one is uh, on 161 Spadina Avenue. It's the larger store. King Textiles generally has all kinds of fabrics. It's a huge store. It's like 4,800 square feet. They have rolls and rolls of fabric that will keep you on the hunt for hours. And they even have a faux fur room, as well as plenty of notions. This store is filled to the brim with fabulous fabrics, and the owner keeps a lot of them clean by keeping them wrapped. So you need to be patient, find the fabric swatches, and find the gems, like this one. Here are some Liberty Cottons, and there is lots to find as long as you dig. The wool house is filled with fine wools from Italy, England, and Australia. It also has a selection of Irish linens, fine cotton shirting, and some Japanese denim. And if you are a person who needs muslin in bulk, they have bolts here too. They also carry heavier weights for wool coats. My name is Imran. We're the owners of Affordable Textiles Incorporated in Toronto, Ontario. So we were here for 30 years and we needed more space. So that's the reason why we have two shops. We carry a lot of quilting cottons on one side of the store. So we carry licensed prints. At the beginning, we were just carrying like a few different plain ones. And then more and more customers started asking for them. And now we carry over 400 different quilting cottons. But uh, in, in terms of like, if you're making stuff for dresses, if you're making stuff for upholstery, suits, we have most of everything and we have a great selection of everything. We've been here for so long now that we're a staple, we're a part of Queen Street. I found the fabric in this store very accessible. They had denim, polyester knits, bathing suit fabric, costume fabrics, African prints on a roll, and a ton of notions to go with it. Each store had a slightly different supply, so it was worth checking them both out. Galani El Maquies and MG Fabrics. I probably have the best French terry and sweater fabrics in North America, organically made, milled in Canada, in different colors, all cotton, and they're all reactive dyes so they don't fade out easily. We got a ton of like really nice swimwear, beautiful GSM, nice weight. We have scuba that's ethically made. The only trick with this store is it's upstairs and it's easy to miss, so keep your eyes open. Next, we're getting on the Blur Subway West to the neighborhood of Christie Pitts. 
and we're getting off at either the Ossington or Christie subway station for our next door unit. Don't let the name fool you. Though this store is full of yarn and embroidery threads, there is a good stash of fabric here from quilting cottons to Liberty prints to Nanny Uru. Honestly, it's just a beautiful store full of items you want to fondle and touch. And our last stop today is West on Bloor, up through the junction to the Stockyard District, where some might say we've saved the best for last with fabric fabric. My name is Sona. My company name is Fabric Fabric Limited. And we are located at 530 Keele Street, Unit 304. Our business has been around uh, almost 30 years. We have almost fabric for everybody's taste from all over the world, from clothing to upholstery fabric, drapery fabric, craft fabric, and anything anybody wish for. Everybody feels, when they come here, they feel like home. You know, everybody's friendly and uh, at first when anybody comes it's overwhelming because it's a lot of fabric but as they know the store because everything is section by section and we already put signs so it's easy for people to find what they are requesting. Wow, what a day. <laughs> Going to all those neighborhoods, all those fabric stores, talking to all those owners, and best of all, playing and touching with those fabrics. If you would like to plan your own fabric tour of Toronto, I'm going to have a free download on my website with all the store information. And I'll have a quick link to it in the description notes. Now we're not done yet. This is only part one in a series of fabric stores in Toronto. And the next one, we are coming here to Toronto North. And you don't want to miss it, so be sure to subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you next time.